that's how it was. Interesting. Thanks for the interview. Cut. Thanks, everyone. Input setup on the Sound Devices 552 is quick and easy. With no switches on the input panel, all input controls are set using front panel shortcuts. Shortcuts use the input pre-fade listen switch with another front panel control. Active settings for each input are shown on LED indicators. To change an input from mic to line, hold the PFL toggle and push the tone mic switch to the left. The line LED then illuminates. Push the tone mic switch to the left again to toggle back to mic level. To activate phantom power on an input, hold the PFL toggle and push the tone mic switch to the right. The phantom LED illuminates to indicate that phantom power is active on the input. Repeat the same steps to turn phantom off. For best input noise performance, set the fader to Unity at 12 o'clock and turn up the input trim until the meters are showing a proper signal level. Use the pan pot to send the input signal to the left or right main output. Leave it centered to send the input to both outputs equally. To minimize unwanted low frequency noise, use the adjustable high pass filter. The high pass filter engages silently so you can use it while recording without disrupting your audio. Thanks for watching. Check back soon for another Sound Devices instructional video.